Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ridge kisses Taylor, blows up engagement to Brooke. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Taylor Hayes will head back to Los Angeles and catch up with some familiar faces. Taylor formerly called Steffi Forrester to give her updates on this homecoming news, so Steffi couldn't be more agitated. Of course, Brooke Logan isn't going to feel the same way once her main rival for Ridge Forrester's affection is back in city. Taylor and Brooke's feud is sure to bubble up again, formerly Brooke feels hovered. Ridge and Brooke just had an amazing trip to Monte Carlo, where he assured her that she was the love of his life. Brooke is at the center of Ridge's world right now, so that's where she wants to stay. Unfortunately, that doesn't feel possible now that Taylor is demeeting the picture. Ridge has a rich history with both women, so he always seems to wind up with one and start stewing for the other. We can't forget that Brooke and Ridge are engaged, so he's planning on spending the rest of his life with her. Ridge has made a commitment to Brooke, but since when has commitment ever really meant anything to Ridge Forrester? Our BMB prognostications allude that it's just a matter of time until Ridge and Taylor start getting too close for comfort. Taylor easily wants Ridge back after the way she was stalking him in Monaco, so she may not be hysterical to fight for him formerly again. Ridge is always going to be connected to Taylor since she's Steffi and Thomas Forrester's mama. There's a bond between Ridge and Taylor that can't be cancelled or denied. Ridge also has a habit of crossing the line when it comes to the boundaries of fellowship. Although Ridge may tell himself that he can keep effects platonic with Taylor, Brooke may have her dubieties about that. It's easy to imagine Ridge getting swept up in old passions and surrendering to a kiss with Taylor at some point. Would that be enough to blow up Ridge and Brooke's engagement? The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Brooke and Ridge's marriage will be far from a done deal with Taylor around, so stay tuned. Brooke runs defense for Hope's humiliating move? Bold and the beautiful has Hope Logan philandering after a wedded man and Brooke Logan choking on her son's coming move on the CBS cleaner. Coming week, a cotillion party breaks out at a gathering at Eric Forrester's estate. Hail, hail, the gang is each then and having fun but it looks like Brooke Logan may find herself doing some damage control with her son. Bold and the beautiful spoilers Brooke Logan tries to stop Hope Logan's drooling. Brooke Logan caught her son's philandering regard at Finn while doing her bedroom print shoot. Last week on Bold and the Beautiful, Brooke gave Hope Logan a verbal poke over this. Bold and the beautiful Hope Logan, but Hope seems so fixated on John Finnegan that it's like she can't help herself these days. Also Steffi Forrester threatens Hope by swinging her HFTF line for cancellation. So, vengeance has also crossed her mind. Plus, Steffi becomes so critical when it comes to Brooke setting the world on fire with her bedroom line reboot. So, Hope sees Steffi as someone out to get the Logan ladies. This also adds energy to act on her daydreams of going after her sister's hubby. BMB spoilers hope not hiding her lust. Coming week, it looks like Brooke gets in goddess of her son in action and scurries to apply some damage control. Bold and the beautiful trials show Hope dancing at this party with Steffi detracted on the phone in the background, as seen in the print over. Bold and the beautiful spoilers Hope Logan, Brooke Logan. While the exercise only offers a transitory shot, it appears the Logan son has her eyes on someone. And that's likely Finn. Bold and the Beautiful made a point over the last week of showing Hope's long ganders at Finn while at FC. She continued, no matter who differently was in the room. Brooke Logan caught it, and she's not only furious that Hope Logan entertains studies of Finn, but now she's openly gaping at him in public. So, at Eric Forrester's event coming week, it looks like Brooke catches Hope Logan with her eyes fixated on Finn again. But this time others are watching. Bold and the beautiful spoilers Brooke in fear mode? Brooke and her son are among a large group of people dancing to live music at Eric's estate. The exercise shows Steffi and Finn dancing and enjoying themselves. Also the coming shot shows Hope Logan looking hardly at someone with Steffi on the phone in the background. So, this is presumably the time that Hope makes a move. She probably takes advantage of Steffi's obsession on the phone and heads for Finn. Bold and the beautiful limelight's Hope dancing, and it looks like she's got a many risque moves going on. Brooke's worries over her son started a while agone. 
so you can go, she's keeping an eye on her at the party. That said, this is likely the time Brooke strikes. While watching her son's movements and jest. She can see where Hope is headed. With everyone in the room, her son would embarrass herself if they see what Brooke sees. Which is Hope philandering for Finn. Coming week, it looks like the scene is set for Brooke Logan to block a dangerous pass her son is about to make. The mama, who acted enough much the same way up most of her life, may see a glass image of herself. So, it's likely she has damage control on her mind after seeing her son mimic her actions and whisk Hope Logan off to the side for another rebuke on the CBS cleaner. Is Rebecca Budig's casting a stunt? The bold and the beautiful suckers all can't help but ask, is Rebecca Budig's casting as the new Taylor Hayes a trick? That's what observers want to know. Keep reading below for everything you need to know. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, is Rebecca Budig's casting a stunt? A lot of B&B observers are intimating that the directors of the show might know what they're doing, indeed though some people suppose they don't know what they're doing at all. By miscasting someone like Rebecca Budig as Taylor Hayes, the show is generating the kind of buzz that will make people want to watch the show, indeed if it's for all of the wrong reasons. Dispensable to say, the internet went off with a lot of people suggesting that the directors of The Cleaner are deliberately trying to rile up suckers by making the kind of casting opinions that would light the commentary section on the internet on fire. Some have reflected on the matter with, I believe the asininity of this vastly idiotic casting decision can be added up by considering the fact that Budig's last part was as a mama to a 10-time-old child, and now she'll be a mama to a 37-time-old woman and a 35-time-old man. I've said for a long time that Torsten K has been the worst recast in decades, and I stand by that. This casting trick tops that, solely grounded on how ridiculous it is. Like others have said, I suppose this will be short-lived due to Brad's history with getting agitated over a new toy. Another critic wrote, The amusement is important, but folks on then know that I always complain about baptizing a recast rightly. Taylor is a altitudinous, long-haired, swart woman who's confident and mature. The bold and the beautiful spoilers what's next for Taylor Hayes? Brad needs to realize this isn't Zack and Greenlee meet again, but this is supposed to be Taylor. Style her rightly or the character won't look right contrary KKL. She needs six-inch heels, dark long hair, and some elegant dresses, formerly in a while. She needs to look like Taylor too. And also there was this comment as well, this is the most ridiculous casting since Mora was cast as Diane in Young and the Restless. But this is worse. Who cares if Greenlee and Zack had chemistry on AMC 2 million times ago? No bone. Is going to believe that Rebecca can be the mama of Thomas and Steffi. If she came back as Phoebe, yeah, I could go for that, but as Taylor? And what happened to Krista Allen? One of the stylish recasts since Zack Tinker on Days.